Mashy, mashy Ferguson, Mr. Gold Wheels and a mighty grin, will always be right there to lend a hand. If you see him passing by the road, keep your hat and say hello to the greatest little trapper in the land. It was early morning in Tasman's Hotel, and Massey was taking a trailer of cocoa to a town chocolate factory with Mrs. Milk, who was going there as well. But while they were getting ready, who should pop up but the car of the same name? Hello, Coco. What are you doing away from Tirana? Massey asked him. I've got some chocolate to deliver, Massey. I had a call from the town factory that they were running out, so a visit to it might tell me how much has changed, said Coco. That's who you found on Booney Island, said Mrs. Milk. I've got my tanker full of milk from the cars. Let's go then, said Massey. And they set off. I hope those mean cars are not there, said Coco. They're a tiny too, who never care for one who has more sense than they do. I think it's got two trucks. One of them is Eddie and Edward, but a third one is a grumpy red, said Massey. Who can be the red truck? Is he like the cars I mentioned? asked Coco. He's by the name of Oliver Overdrive. He's one mean truck, said Mrs. Milk. We best not talk about him, almost there. They soon arrived at the town chocolate factory and found the three trucks who were bringing in food. Morning, Massey! Oh, hello, Coco, said Edward. I haven't seen you for years. Hello, Edward. Nice to see you again after forty years in a barn, said Coco. I didn't know you two were friends, said Massey. Oh yes, mate. Coco and I saw each other after he left England first, said Edward. It's quite a surprise that your engine still works. Anyway, I've got my load of the same name to drop off. Massey delivered the cocoa to the back part of the factory. The foreman was waiting for him. Morning, Mashy. Perfect timing to have the chocolate made, he said. We haven't seen cocoa for yet. Where did you find him? We found him in Booney Island, sir and he told us he was bullied from some other cars that don't have a Catherine, said Massey. We knew about that the whole time, mate. We sent him to Booney Island as he was needing to do the job in the country, but he never had any there, 
said the foreman. Well, he's working in Trana that has the Federation Chocolate Factory. What happened to those cars that bullied him? Or oh, they've been put in display as a punishment so he can visit any time. When the cocoa was unloaded, Massey began to head for home. Mrs. Milk was finished with her delivery, and so was Coco. Did you enjoy your talk with Edward? Massey asked Coco. Oh yes, I did. We both had a brass talk of when our number of years were bigger. Mine was the biggest, and his was the mediumest, said Coco. We'll go our separate ways as we head away, said Mrs. Milk. We might do a last day job, then take scratch to our country. I met Bob telling me if there's a workshop to get his old bucket replaced. He'll be pleased to see New Zealand, said Massey. And they left, heading out of town to their separate homes. Massey, Massey Ferguson, with the gold wheels and the mighty grin, will always be right there to lend a hand. If you see him passing by the road, keep your hat and say hello to the greatest little tractor in the land.